So I can't unsee it is a book game combo about trauma. And this is just kind of designed as a way to introduce um, the concepts of trauma to help, you know, people realize what, not just the kids, but also families to, to realize that there's a process that happens with processing trauma and how the brain works so that um, they realize it's not going to happen all at once and that somebody that might be um, repressing memories, it's not that they're doing it on purpose, it's a coping mechanism that your brain automatically does. So the story is about this little girl named Lulu who is having a really hard time because she saw something horrible happen and it's not defined that way. It can be more generalized to whatever situation is going on with your kiddos. So she's having a hard time sleeping at night. She can't focus in class because um, she's tired all the time. And so this talks about how sometimes those memories can be split apart like a jigsaw puzzle where everything just seems fragmented and, and there's little bits of memories um, that will pop up here and there, but nothing really makes sense. And so this talks about how the brain wants to keep a lot of those memories submerged because it's overwhelming. And it's like your brain just wants to um, put a lot of those memories in the subconscious, but then you kind of have a battle going on in your brain because your brain wants to make sense of it. Like what has happened to me and what's going on here. Um, so whenever you, to basically you want to piece that puzzle back together so that you can process what has happened, um, you know, identify what you felt, the meaning behind everything that happened. And then as that happens, then you're able to um, kind of break free from, from feeling trapped. So, um, so it shows that Lulu is, you know, kind of making a trauma narrative. She's able to write out what has happened to her. And each time she writes it out, she, she feels better. Like at first it was really hard, but then she's starting to put those pieces together in her mind and it's bringing her relief. And then she's finally able to be a kid again. She's able to have fun and not worry all the time that something horrible is going to happen again. So then we've got our game cards that talk about different aspects of trauma, processing trauma, um, skills to use to, um, to manage the emotions. And then here is our, ooh, got a glare. And um, this is our game board. So, um, and it's just, helping Lulu process all, all the things. And so what's, what I like about these books is that it introduces a concept. And so as kids hear the story, they'll probably think about their own trauma, their own experience that was horrible. And they might relate to Lulu in some ways and they might be like, yeah, my story is completely different. And that's where the game really makes it personal. So they're able to talk through their own experiences and, um, find their own coping skills, their own um, triggers. And so it, it takes it all and makes it personal to them and helps them put together their, their plan of action to overcome the challenges that they're facing. So um, Lulu just kind of introduces the idea for you. Thanks.